RTC a big round of applause. Thank you. Um, good afternoon. We are RTC Medical Preparatory High School, and the name of our organi organization is Beyond the Desert. We chose challenge number one by Joanne Hogg, which was to challenge ourselves, our peers, and our family to, to learn how to cook, understand, and eat real foods. Push on the door. Feel the rush of air on the skin of your face. Look at backlit colors of food. Look at backlit color pictures of food. Look at the latest cardboard advertisements for the newest Disney movie. Get in line, place your order, hand over money, put the change in your pocket, watch teenagers in uniform, put burgers on grills and fries and baskets of oil. Grab the plastic tray with your food, find a seat, sit down, unwrap the burger, squirt ketchup on the fries, dig in, enjoy. Get sick, go to the hospital, type two, repeat. Now any rational person would cease this behavior, but it's not a question of rationality, more so availability. With an estimated three million Americans in Chicago living in food deserts, it's no wonder we save a lot of time deciding where to buy our food. Even though food is humanity's common ground, vegetables here are not commonly found. It's like WTF. Where's the food? Two point seven, two point seven million residents, nearly exclusively African Americans, live in food deserts and face nutritional challenges that contribute to the health disparities found in Chicago's population. Now, recognizing that this issue is so grand and complex, instead of focusing on what the underserved communities don't have, we focused on what they do in efforts to inspire and empower one another to take advantage of the resources that we do have access to. So what we did is we basically visited every local market and corner store in our neighborhood and we listed and took a picture of every healthy food we can find and brought it back to our team and made a website which is beyondthedesert.weebly.com to share. Food deserts are impoverished areas that have lack of access to grocery stores, also food, also farmers markets, and also just access to healthy food in general. We decided to choose this topic because since food deserts are predominantly found in black and Latino communities, it personally affects us and we decided to come together in order to push past the challenges that we face in order to find a healthier option. Okay. In addition to making the website, we also partnered with James Beard Award winner, Chef Jenner Tumaska. Um, he aided us in creating recipes with food that can be commonly found in our neighborhoods. Uh, so these places being like corner stores and like grocery stores that are readily available in our communities. We also added a beauty component as well. We decided to make like a cheaper option to these healthcare products since we all know that beauty products are very expensive and you typically do not know what are being put in it. We created a healthy honey and sugar scrub that really exfoliates your skin and makes it very smooth and rejuvenates it as well. In addition to that, as we emphasize that, we had information put up on our website about healthy food swaps. So we took the initiative in doing the research for you and laying it out so that you could pay attention to what's on your food labels. And it's simple things like going into the gas station and picking a bottle of water over that brisk that I know you guys were eyeing, but that bottle of water is gonna serve as more beneficial later on. And it's things like that that we truly encourage to make these healthy choices to benefit you in the end. We created a Facebook site that not only unites Chicago, but other people across the nation. People caught on quick through the words, words of the mouth and social media, and we got 55 hits in just our first day. We plan on getting at least 500 people on our website, and once we reach that goal, we plan to work with Chef Jenner to create and, to create and educate our community about healthy foods, where to find them, and recipes. 
in the long term, we want to make our, our choices represent our options. And by doing that, we would repeatedly buy healthy foods to force uh, market demand, forcing local markets to supply these healthy foods in our neighborhood. As a group, we worked extremely well together, and one day Chicago Time's will up. soon look beyond the desert. All right, we have three minutes. Q&A from the judges. Oh, it's Q&A. Have you thought about, as you have a social media platform, have you thought about how you could use your creative poem slash rap to build interest in your site? Well, uh, the thing is that a lot of people in my school, they know that I'm like really into spoken word and whatnot. So a lot of the times, if like there's something that I'm talking about that they feel like, oh, you seem really passionate about that. Like a lot of times it'll be like, hey bro, make a poem about it. And, it, and it's really funny, but like a lot of the times it, do, it does inspire a lot of my work. So yeah. And also on our website, we have incorporated a lot of facts and we also put our, um, stuff on social media and within our social media it's not just people from Chicago but it's people from all across the nation for example you've connected with people from New Hampshire to California just like broader areas not just here I have a um, great presentation question for you you guys took a really interesting approach in terms of let's focus on what we do have versus what we don't have which is traditionally what um, um, happens with this topic. How did you decide to take that different approach? How did you guys get there? Well, it's important to see that not just this matter, but in many aspects, it's hard to just change the system and the way things have been implemented and functioning for years. So as opposed to abruptly trying to function against it, it's important to be logical and strategic about it and going about it as in, all right, so I'm going to go into the grocery store. This is what we do have. And the more that you have consumers, the way business, work, business works, they're obviously going to uh, market up the product, the the production of that product so that it's more in demand and that's how, it works. yeah, the, we see, envision it. How, how did you lock in that strategic partnership with Chef Jenner? We actually emailed him since we saw that he was a winner of the James Beard. We decided to contact him and email him constantly. And even <laughs> after, <laughs> and even after this, he's invited us to go to his next kitchen, and we're gonna we're gonna be able to work within his facility and just create healthier options and spread it throughout the community. Any other questions? We have forty-seven seconds. You had a lot of different projects happening and, and of all the, the public education, the recipes, the chef, the social media, which of them do you think is the most important to making a difference? I would say the most important is just the face-to-face -face contact and just like the group, but also since we're all on social media and we're all using this technology, by using the website as a platform to expand our knowledge and expand like our depth and breadth, it's just really a big component of how we're able to spread our ideas to make these healthier options and pick these food swaps and just be more conscious of the decisions that we are making. All right, let's give them a real big round of applause. Thank you.